Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your first Android Studio tutorial. Uh, this video is just going to be a basic introduction and getting it set up. So jumping straight into it, the first thing you need to do is go to this URL, uh, http uh, developer.android.com slash sdk slash installing slash studio.html. To be honest, just Google Android Studio, it'll come up straight away. And this is the page here. And just download it and install it. Um, if you have an older version, like a 1.0, a point, uh, 0 0.1 version, make sure to completely uninstall that first, otherwise it won't update properly, you have to do that. And once you've done that and you start it up, you're going to get this. Welcome to Android Studio. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and we're going to set up Action Bar Compat from Google. And we're also going to very quickly set up, uh, maybe we'll set up a library or two. So you get this kind of thing. Uh, Android Studio is based on IntelliJ Community Edition. Amazing uh, thing, amazing um, IDE. You've never actually played with it, but Android Studio is very promising looking. So for the application, I'm just going to type in... Uh, Test application. That's actually spelled wrong, just call it test. And we'll just call this TE for test of the queries. Okay. And uh, we'll change this to gingerbread. Uh, target SDK 4.2 jelly bean, compile with 4.3. Hollow light, dark action bar. All good. Next. Next. Next, usual nonsense. Okay. And it'll, uh, Gradle will then build up our project. Uh, Gradle is the new Android building system. The previous one was Ant, I believe. Gradle is much better. It's repository based. Uh, get rid of that. No, I don't want to show tips on startup. Oh, great. Still loading. Okay. So just maximize this. Okay, so here is. Android Studio, completely different uh, software design. And we're going to go through some of the basics. So, as you can see, the project is a little bit uh, differently laid out. We're going to go over here to the left hand side and see what that's got at first. Okay, so as you can see, we have a completely new layout. We have uh, a couple of folders. We have our Gradle folder, and this is our building system. We don't touch this idea this is our if we open up this for example this is our compiler for various bits and bobs here this is a uh, for the idea thing this is actually a preview of our layout here on the left or on the right we'll look at that in a minute but anyway that's our previews the actual project ourselves is held in test we ignore all this other stuff here okay and we look in here okay so the project is here now one thing I want to point out very quickly is that project each project is openable so I'll go file close project and that'll bring me back to the other window in fact we'll do that now if you want to open up a different project we click open project and I just have to find it now is it underused mm. where are you drive there we go Android Studio projects and there's a project there I'm working on called YouTube Stats. So that's how you change projects. Now, I actually can't remember where this went to, but we'll cancel that and we'll just open this one here, okay? Recent projects come up. Okay, so we're back in. So this is our test file, our test project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this first. I'm actually going to start up an AVD. And we'll start up a Nexus 7 one, start, scale display, 7 inches, blah -de blah -de blah Okay, that's going there now. Right, so that's starting up, we'll leave that be. So the general tour is, um, our build, our resources folder, which we don't touch, this contains debugging properties. We get rid of that. Uh, we want to go into our SRC folder, which gives us our main, and then here's our Java. 
So that's our package and there's our main activity and hidden away in here, our imports. I haven't made the font size larger because I'm not actually going to be doing any real coding here. Then we have our res folder down here and you can find out all your uh, reses there and stuff like that. You can look at all the different icons you have and you have all your stuff. Usual uh, stuff is all in here. So once my AVD starts up, I'll resume this and we'll get we'll just get this project to run and then we're going to get the action bar compatibility library up and running. Okay, so it's there. We're going to press run. Now, the uh, running time is a little bit longer. Gradle is a bit more complicated to build, I believe. Project files, but oops, it should start working soon enough. Yeah, emulator Nexus 7. Okay. And our the thing down here is telling us what's going on. It's uh, installing the shell command. It's uploading file. Launching application. And here it is here. Here's our test project. Good stuff. Okay, so we know it's working. Now your log cat is down here. As soon as I find the damn thing again, it keeps vanishing on me. Doesn't matter anyway, we'll uh, get to the uh, adding the Android file, or adding the files now. So how do we add a library to this? Well, we can actually add uh, support libraries from the Gradle depository. It's a Maven repository. So what we want to do here is, and this is something you have to do uh, first we go actually before we do that we need to go to our SDK manager and open that up scroll down to the bottom and make sure you have support repository installed make sure that's there or it won't work properly open up your build.gradle this describes all the different all the uh, repositories and stuff like that and everything that's going okay uh, this gradle file describes how this project should be built so the build script here defines the class path android.tools build gradle 0.5 plus which is in our gradle gradle jar blah 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 our maven central is our deposit repository so the repositories where all the support libraries are now held on the internet and you pull them down into your project as needed so as you can see here compile com.action android.support support v4 blah 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 that's our dependency so if we want to add as you generally want to do to start of a project, the app compat, same system, just a different thing. So we want to add the app compat to our project. Type in compile. Now, there will be a GUI based method to do this. It's not available yet. So the repository for uh, repository lines are as follows support. Now support v4, what we want is app compat dash v7. Okay. Version 18.0.0 oh, no, plus. Not dot plus. So what this does is this tells us to run uh, anything in there and this can be any number. Good. We don't actually need that comma there at all. So we save the file. Start my keyboard around my A key, it's really annoying there. So we save the file. Now what we can do is, we can uh, work on this here. So let's change this to our action bar activity. Now, as you can see, we're getting an error. We need to build this and this will actually crash so let's just make it an activity first and click test we'll run this again and we should build it with the new uh, the gradle gradle should pull down all the components and work oh shoot i know what's wrong i'm an idiot we've added the told the, the building system the gradle builder files ha, what to come add but our act our uh, IDE doesn't know it has been added yet. So what you need to do is you need to right click on it and go down to properties, I believe. I'm a little bit mixed up here myself. 
I'll find it now in a sec and I'll get back to you. Ah, good. Uh, it turns out I am mistaken. The action bar activity has actually been added. I just have to right click and synchronize. Um, down here and that just downloads the thing I believe so we need to get rid of this nonsense and see here look uh, yep import alt enters import so alternative enter and we now have our action bar activity so now we need to change our theme as usual so values v11 v14 can be deleted and then values uh, styles, you know, usual thing here. Uh, theme dot app compat dot light dot dark action bar. Need to change this. Whoops. And it should run now. Probably get an error. We'll see. So Gradle is now building our project. It's a little bit slow, but uh, it's nice. It's much more uniform than um, Eclipse. Eclipse could get a little bit well all over the place. Oh yeah, it built. Let's see what a run though. Project successfully built. Come on. Well, hey, works. Perfect. We're all good. Uh, this isn't resolving for some reason. Uh, I think this might have something to do with uh, the uh, Android Studio itself. But that is the very basics of Android Studio, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little short video. I'm going to be doing more tutorials in Android Studio in the future. In fact, let me know in the comments whether you want me to do Android Studio or Eclipse. You know, this is just basic project setup in Android Studio. Maybe I'll do Eclipse in the future. We'll see uh, what way it works. But anyway, guys, as always, see you next time.